When we're looking at drawing small animals, I'm using this book again, How to Draw Animals by Jack Hamm. And I really like some of his instructions. And I thought it would be good for this video. So again, we're simplifying the animal with the oval body, the um, heart-shaped um, shoulders and hips, the two legs, front and back, uh, oval head, ears, okay? And how you combine these shapes, okay? And then eventually you smooth it out in the specific parts of an animal, and then of course you only um, leave what you want to leave, and you erase everything else and go over more darkly the lines you want to keep. We're still going to use our animal drawing order, first body, then head, neck, ears, hips and shoulders, legs, feet and hooves, and then adding fur and detail. All right. Let's just get rid of that. So, small mammals and bears. We're also going to talk about bears. So, if I were, I'm going to draw one small animal that would fit sort of all of these. It's going to look like a menagerie of these. So, we've got our beaver, our badger, raccoon, I recognize him, skunk, black tailed prairie dog, and last but not least, porcupine. You can see the similarities in all of these guys. Um, You've got fairly small head. Some of them have shorter snouts, some a little bit longer, like the badger, depends on what they use them for, right? Some of them have, most of them have little feet, but definitely have claws. Uh, the porcupine has bigger feet, and the uh, badger has bigger feet. And the beaver has very strong claws here, but it's also a little round. You can see the general shape of these small mammals. So we're going to go ahead and start with our small mammal. All right, so I'm going to start with my oval. Again, I'm going to make this bigger than I normally would because I'm trying to get a lot of detail in this drawing. I'm also going to draw darker than I normally would. All right, so if I were looking at these guys, I'm going to see how many heads without the snout fit into the body. So one, two, Three, probably four, because this guy's curled around. That raccoon is a kind of a rounder head. One, two, three, four, including the neck again. Prairie dog's kind of a bigger head than the others. One, two, three. So a little bit low, less than the prairie dog. He's got kind of a big head. Um, what is this, porcupine? No snout. One, Two, three, okay, also. Skunk, he's facing away, so that's a little hard. One, two, okay, three or four. Okay, so if we've got this big round one, so that means, let's just say four, because we can always make it bigger. Okay, so it's gonna be about this size. You see how I made my lines, just dividing it up here, dividing the shape into four so I can see generally what one fourth is. Okay, so it's about that big. All right, but you can see the head in most of these just goes right along with the body. It's not like a horse where it's way up here. So I'm just going to put a head that's about this big. I'm going to make it kind of round. Their head is a little rounder than you think because they've got a snout. It's about that big. Okay, now it depends on the animal. Like if, if we're doing this beaver here, it's got sort of a blunted sort of snout also in the porcupine. Now the raccoon, much more of a pointy little nose on there. Also the skunk, more of a dip in the nose, a little ball. But I'm just going to go ahead and stick to this beaver over here. Okay. Eye right in the middle of the face, little beady little eye. So cute. And their ears line right up with their eyes. So this, you can see this ear. These are not very big ears. They don't really go past the head very much, although they do seem to go on to the neck. Let me put this big neck in. Strong neck for digging. Raccoon's ears do stand up a little more. They actually clear the head, whereas most of these other small mammals, their ears really don't clear the head. They're just little C shapes back there. Some higher, like that. Like this guy's, it doesn't really line up with his head. Well, it does, but at more of an angle, whereas this guy is really tucked back in. Okay, so now I'm going to come back around. I can see that they all have this big hump on here. I'm going to make that a little bit more prominent. 
Okay, come back around. And they all have some sort of tail, whether it be really nice and fluffy like the raccoon tail, which made it prized for its pelts. Um, almost as big as itself with the uh, beaver tail and up in the air if we were doing a skunk. We're going to try and attempt a beaver tail. So, you know, so let's you know, use tail one. Again, he's curled around so we can't see how long he is, but wow, that tail is almost half his body size, maybe more. So let's see, that tail should be at least that big if this is half, right, his body size. So we should come it comes around here. So it comes down at least, at least this far. And it's as wide as its head. That is a big monster. And it comes off of his body in a very curious way, like that, like you don't really see. Okay, we're gonna bring this around. We are gonna do the hips that we were talking about. Just instead of one, we're gonna do two right here. You can see its leg. And then the shoulder's not as prominent on these guys, but because it's mostly because it's covered by fur. Still very important to show where the, so you can see where the legs come off. Right, we can't really see where, how far these come off because they're so furry, but we can tell that they're about, you know, like his, his foot is as big as his leg easily. This guy's leg is a, about half a head, maybe a whole head, raccoon. Much shorter legs, maybe, well, maybe about the size of their head. Looks like that's pretty consistent. Let's see about you guys. Arm, yeah, that's it. It's about right. So let's make him this long. Let's see. put a big old foot on this. We can lay it in. We can always go back and add, right? Add the claws on there. Make sure that they're all uniform, right? We'll go back. All right, so let's bring up another one of these guys. Skunk. Let's see if we're getting him right. So we've got something going on here. This drawing is a little curled around, so it's hard to see. His arm is up here. We put him up. Maybe. Okay. Comes up in the belly. It doesn't really show much belly because it's a lot of fur there. Here's this big leg here. Also comes down and forward. Let's put it a piece of ground so I can see where its feet are. If we do this beaver, we're going to put big old claws on him here. We're doing that little heel action. Up around. This is big. Big shoulders. Okay. So this is sort of a, a conglomeration of all of these little mammals. It doesn't look like any one of them. Let's see how it looks once we get our Sharpie on this guy. <laughs> Let's see. If we draw too straight of a line because the fur is really going to cover up. I'm going to bring him around here a little less. We'll take that tail right off the edge because I think that's where it would go. Just get his lay there. And again, what I, for me, I would want a better picture of the feet just so I knew exactly where they started and stopped. So we'll just put it there for now. It's a little funky, but. And always go back and fix it with fur. A little shadow in there. This guy's got a much bigger nose. You can't see his big old t teeth, but that would be a good thing to look at. Okay, so here we have our basic conglomeration of 10 different mammals. <laughs> now, you may want to put in this sort of lightly, just because it really shows they're big muscles here, right? So we're going to just lay it in lightly. Okay. Okay. That's a combination of a rat. I'm not really sure. All right. Now let's talk one more minute about bears. I know that bears are 
are not really small mammals, but they I couldn't really figure out what other category to fit them into. So we're going to talk for a minute about this. So normally in this this um, small mammal, prairie dog, beaver, skunk, badger, porcupine. Whoops, who drew that? Okay, so let's look at this bear here. We are going to. This is, so in these pictures, there's lots of different, lots of different uh, sort of pictures that we can look at, different close-ups of the face and things. Um, I'm going to use this picture even though I can't quite see everything. But again, we're going to start with a big oval, maybe even bigger than the other ones. Okay. Then we're going to add in this head. So again, we're going to look at this head on the grizzly. One, two, and it's a little bit curled around. So he's got a big head. So let's even say that, let's even say that it's three. Actually, if you include the neck, you only fit two. So let's just do that. Let's see how that looks. So that's half, and that's how big the head and the neck are going to be. So we've got this big muscle up here coming down, and then we've got a Head here, so about that big, maybe. This head's a little bit more round than you'd think it would be. Okay, big neck coming here, coming down, and then he's got a long nose. Put his mouth in here. Again, you can always take lines away. Now these ears do clear. And they're kind of sitting a little bit more in the middle of his head. This one you can't even you can see the inside. And you don't really see the outside. Okay? That was ear up there. And again, I would look at a picture to see what his eyes look like more. So I'm trying to draw them out. Alright? We come down here, we've got our big Now these legs, how many can, let me see, let's do it by heads. See, about as big as the head, okay? Let's go ahead and put that ground in. We're going to do our heart-shaped hips. See where that muscle is? Although with a bear, you really can't see that muscle because it's so furry. And it gives us an idea of where this leg comes out. Now their legs are very... They go wide all the way to the ground. Let me look at the top here. And again, I would want to see a picture of what their claws look like up close there. And then we're going to do our other leg back here. Again, it starts a little higher. And get stops a little shorter. And when you shade it in, of course, it's going to be a little bit darker, right? Get it behind. Now, I can't really see what this guy's front looks like, but I'm going to go ahead and guess. And I can always add more later. Right, big shoulder here. Okay, and I'm going to put this leg back here. All right, got a little waggy little tail. Okay, let's sharpie him up and see if he still looks like a bear. <laughs> Tail, trunk, ear on top, ear behind. The eye, okay, that behind. All right, not bad. There we go. Small mammals and bears.